guys doing? This is important too. You know, you can usually see when that satellite man's been pulling on my nose or they've been hurting my nose and face. See this right here? They, they try to put a line across there. That satellite man's been putting a line across my nose like they've been doing this to my nose or they've been pushing my nose this way where they've created this crease in my face. That's not in the royal protocol. Any markings, any damage on the body of my anatomy at any time ever, that's not in the royal protocol. You know, these satellite man marking on the face, burning uh, squiggly lines on the upper lip, tempted murder every day. I'm not playing your shit, government man. This is my anatomy, not yours. You better quit burning on me. You better quit burning my left leg. They burnt my leg from when I left the house and went to uh, went to Target, went to the uh, Gordon Foods, and went to the gas station, and then went to the gas station again. But the satellite man is still burning my leg, my left lower leg, and I've shown a picture of it. There is dench there on the bone that goes like this. They've damaged my leg, and the bone is supposed to be smooth. They have dented in and made jagged markings on my bone, on my left lower cat. <laughs> they messed my mouth. My shin. And that satellite man's still hitting me in the face and teeth. And I went to the uh, damn man uh, garden store and bought some squirrel food and bird food, too. And that satellite man's still hitting me in the leg. They're hitting me in the leg again. What do you think a person's anatomy is for, government man? For you to rag out? Trying to rag somebody to death, government man? We need to see where you come from. Because I come from the highest first class in the world. Of history, of wealth, of Europe and America. And some Asian history of family history. And international acknowledgments. Italy, France and England. You know, this government man tried to play stupid. Satellite man is still burning me, still trying to steal from me all the time. You're trying to steal my freedom. You're trying to steal my mobility. You've damaged my teeth, tried to call me a fake. You need to go into court, government man. Oh, and somebody wanted to say something about the convention center. See, one, you know, they had been burning me. I'm going to mention this. And I need this government man to go into court. And I need the Supreme Court judges to judge the satellite man at the convention center. They were burning my teeth and face. And I even asked the one, because usually in reference to food, you know, the chicken company itself has lawsuits against the government. There's like a little piece of crumb of breading of a piece of chicken. It was not chicken. It was like just the crumb. I didn't eat it. But the satellite man was burning my in the face and teeth. And there was a crumb on the back of the fryer. And I, I even asked the guy, you know, he's one of the workers there, because these people were starving me to death, stealing my money, blocking me from food, blocking me from benefits. And I didn't eat it. Make sure you understand that. I didn't eat it. And it was not sellable. So it was something was on the back of the fryer. And I, I had already asked the, the line chef or the line cook there if I could have a piece of chicken. But I wasn't going to eat the I didn't have the chicken. I didn't get any chicken. It was just a piece of crumb that was on the back of the fryer. And... I didn't need it. It was real hard, and it was. I just needed a piece of food, something a fryer, because a satellite man was frying my face and teeth with satellites and microwaves. I didn't need it, even though he said I could eat chicken or eat, you know. And some of the other people there in management said because they knew these people was trying to murder me and these people was trying to starve me to death. But there's a long story. These people tried to starve me to death every fucking week, hitting me in the teeth, hitting me in the throat for over six thousand days. They've done this since they kidnapped me. They even tr tried to starve me to death back in the 80s when they had kidnapped me and they held me hostage. And they were trying to force me to eat dog food because this uh, Frank Sinatra was the one that kidnapped me and his government agents. And they were trying to force me to eat dog food over on Midhoffer Street when he had held me hostage. And that was attempted murder, too, back in the 70s, back in the late 70s, 80s, back in the 80s. Someone might say somebody has the exact date and time. And uh, but anyways, in reference to this piece of crumb, I don't pick on food when I work at a restaurant. Never do. Never have. I didn't even eat this piece of crumb, even though the, the line chef said I could. I didn't eat. But anyways, it was on the back of like the back of the fryer, you know, so I grabbed it. And uh, and then I guess they said that this guy came in and knocked me out 
and broke one of my teeth, or he was he was trying to trying to steal my teeth over this little crumb that was on the fryer, on the back of the fryer. You know how it collects debris and stuff like that? Now, this man has been trying to murder me all the time. He's one of the satellite controllers. He's trying to murder me and riding my bike. He was trying to suffocate me. They shot at me on my bicycle during the time that they've held me hostage while they were stealing millions and billions of dollars of my mother and father's money. These people that have been holding me hostage. So in reference to this piece of chicken, it was a piece of the breading. I didn't eat it. Make sure you understand that. I did not eat it. But the chef said I could. But he didn't think I was, he thought I was going to get a piece of chicken. But I didn't get a piece of chicken. I got like one of the debris that's on the back of the fryer. Because I needed to, to grab something, to hold something, so the motherfucker and the satellite man would stop burning my face and teeth. But he didn't stop. But then there was like a couple guys that came into that, the, the uh, section there, and they tasered me, and then they broke, or they broke one of my teeth, or they microwaved on my teeth and caused damage on the job. And that's a violation of labor laws, because I even asked if I could have a piece of chicken. It wasn't, I don't think it was Cedric the Entertainer that dressed up as one of the lion chefs, but there was another guy there. There was, I don't know if Cedric the Entertainer dressed up as one of the lion chefs at the convention center or not. But some of the celebrities have done that, I guess. But uh, it might have been him, I don't know. When I asked if I could have a piece of little chicken. And I have raw diplomatic immunity for a lot of reasons, even from when I was a little boy, because the government had tried to murder me and the government tried to frame me and the government tried to steal my mother and father's estates. And back in the 80s, when they held me hostage in Indiana, they tried to starve me every fucking day. They tried to make me beg for food every fucking day. When I lived in, uh, uh, when they held me hostage over on Midhoffer Street or Richmond, Indiana or Union City or uh, on Gladstone Street, sometimes they did that. And in reverence to... Uh, there was a house on Colorado. They held me hostage in a house on Colorado on Washington Street at one time. That was after we came, after they, I'd already been rescued or something. And then they kidnapped me again. And Frank Sinatra, I guess, lived in that house or stayed in that house on Colorado Street in Washington or something. He was one, when he was holding me hostage. But anyway, it was a long place, a long story. And but back to the fryer thing. I didn't eat the piece of chicken. It was a piece of breading. And, you know, I took it off the back of the fryer and threw it away. But the satellite man was burning my face and teeth. It was not sellable. It was just a piece of crumb. And I've worked in chicken. I've worked in food. I've worked in the food and beverage industry for a long time. And this satellite man made false accusations about me. When they had damaged my teeth, they have tried to murder me for numerous years prior to ever working at the convention center. Don't call me a liar because I can throw you in fucking prison. And I plan on throwing some people in prison that are trying to steal my identity, people that have damaged my teeth, satellite controllers damaging my legs. You're going to prison, motherfuckers. I'm not fucking around with you, you dick shit piece of faggot motherfucker. I'm warning you again. I am not fucking around with you or your goddamn people. Make sure you understand that, man.